Hey guys, this is Jordan, host of Alter Element Games, and today is another bit on gaming and news updates. And I have one simple thing to ask you. Did KG and Afune pull off a gearbox? Now what do I mean by that? Well, recently KG and Afune and his company called Concept came out with a game called, well, Mighty Number no. 9, one of the most overhyped games of all time bringing up a Kickstarter fund of four million dollars and everybody was really hoping this would be like the next continuation of a Mega Man type game even though we already had one with Shovel Knight a way better game in my opinion I love that game but let's move on so Mighty Number no. 9's been getting shitty reviews Ooh, you, you see that? damn 54 probably be lower than that on Metacritic. Man. Anyway, and rightfully so, because the game is pretty shit. And it doesn't look like the Mega Man successes that we all wanted. This game looked rushed and pretty much just not complete. Like, Concept didn't really care. So, what happened? And doesn't this remind you of something? Like an overhyped franchise that everybody wanted that didn't want, you know, that, that everybody wanted but didn't like really 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 like pull it off or just plain fucking sucked well aliens colonial marines that's what it reminds me of and that's what I mean it says and that's what I mean by when I said pulls a gearbox oh man this game was terrible when it came out and it still is I mean you still have people that mod the game on PC but that's not gonna fix an overall broken game I mean, the AI was really bad. Take a look at this clip. <laughs> Maybe my heart's on fire. I'm losing me. <laughs> Thanks to Angry Joe for that footage and uh, whoever clip that he stole that from. But anyway, going back to Mighty Number no. 9 and Aliens Colonial Marines, KG and Ifune really pulled off a gearbox. And the reason why I say that is because the focus of the game wasn't really there in the first place. It seems like all of their focus went into another project. Just like how Gearbox focused all their attention to Borderlands 2. This is the project that I think they're really focusing on since they have a really huge backing from Microsoft for this game. Since it's a console exclu exclusive, that would mean more support, more money, and more profit for concept. So they have to put all their attention into this Xbox One game. My theory is that, well, they came out with basically an advanced alpha of the game and then just shoved it out in stores and kind of polished it up a little bit and said here here's the game you hungry hmm delicious right but no we're not hungry for that bullshit and we're not satisfied that's not gonna fill our bellies people wanted the new Mega Man and you paid attention to something else apparently cuz this game looks way better than well mighty number no. nine and this is like some early footage this game looks great way better compared to mighty number no. nine mighty number no. nine is nothing it, it's so bad that the only thing it's good for is for speed running. Look at Caleb here, Caleb Hart, go to his Switch channel. Look at this guy, speed running Mighty Number no. 9. This is what the game is This is what the game is used for now. Nobody cares about this game anymore. This game is garbage. And rightfully so. And that's why I think this man right here, Keiji Nifune, pulled off one of the biggest heists in gaming history. And he, everybody was so hyped because the creator of Mega Man, which he's not really the creator, he admitted it himself, he just drew zero. That's pretty much it. Other, taking credit for other people's work. This guy right here, man. Mm, not up to par, not up to snuff. Pulled off a gearbox. And my friends, let it show you that when you pull off a gearbox, it doesn't end well not at all to all you indie developers out there to all you fans and well to all you 
just innocent people who don't know what's going on in the game industry. Stuff like this happens all the time. And you know what? Sales are going to be the true factor in this whole situation. If your game isn't up to snuff and you overhype it, then people are not going to believe you anymore. They're not going to trust you with that same that that same feeling that they had for you when they funded when they helped you fund this game on Kickstarter. Come on, guys. You have to do better than that. Don't pull a gearbox. Don't. This is Jordan, host of Alter Element Games. I'm out of here. Peace. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.